hi my beautiful dolls and my beautiful sunshines and welcome back to this year channel thank you so much for pressing play thank you so much for continuously watching my videos and my content thank you so much for all of you who always comment like and share i really 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 do appreciate it um and you guys fill my heart with joy uh, i love reading your comments i love to see when you guys share you guys make me so so happy and i really really am thankful um, on this occasion, I'm bringing you my Halloween nails, and as you can see, I'm showing you what I will be using, um, which is my mix. I'm going to be using some black acrylic and some of my holographic glitter mix. As you can see, I'm using Tones um, Dehydrator, Tones Ultra Bond, and Tones Clear Acrylic. And um, on this video, I will be doing one nail at a time rather than doing all the clear and then all, you know, the nails one after the other like I usually do um for example I'll put the clear on here and then I'll put the glitter that I'm going to be using on this one so um as you can see I do two coats of the ultra bond I add a very thin layer of clear acrylic on this occasion I don't shape the nail with the clear I end up shaping it with the um, glitter and the clear acrylic and um, as you can, you're gonna see right now. I did have, um, I did notice once I picked up the pearl that it didn't have enough acrylic in the mix since it's a chunky glitter. So I just added some extra clear acrylic to kind of help it out, and then I added clear acrylic to the tub so I could continue um, working on my nail. And as well as you can see, these are gonna be done in nail forms. The shape of my nails is going to be in stiletto since it's Halloween and my mix is called Witch's Brew. So it has to be little pointy witch nails. So, yeah. For this nail, I'm going to be using black acrylic. It's my Barak 3D acrylic, and I apologize in advance. It gets kind of messy because it's a 3D acrylic. So um, if you guys know of any black acrylic that's not for 3D that would be easier to work with, please let me know down in the comments. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, so I will be using this black mix, but I also mixed in some of this glow-in-the-dark pigment I bought from Beauty Big Bang. I don't think I put quite enough, that's why I won't be showing it to you guys in the glow because it does glow but very like little speckles of glow in my nail. It doesn't really glow as much. Um, my mix also has glow in the dark moon so those glow pretty good but they don't come out on camera so I didn't um, share it with you guys. Um, so yeah. Thank you. 
So on this nail, once I did that uh, thin layer of clear, clear acrylic, I will be applying the mix I did on video for you guys, which is also um, in the collection I still have for sale. This is a holographic iridescent acrylic, um, and you will see why I chose it in a sec. Well, not in a sec, a little bit further in the video. Um, I still have some of these collections available. I will put the link to the new sale video at the end of this video. Also, people who have purchased and who have purchased this collection, um, you guys will have the opportunity to win um, two of Tapatia's Nails beautiful collections. Tapatia, as you all know, she's really talented in everything she does, mixes, nails, everything. So, um, you will enter a raffle to win two of her collections, which she, will, which she will send to you. I will put the link to her video once she uploads it of her collections down below in the comment section. And as you can see, I proceeded to encapsulating and filing and buffing off camera. And those are the results. Um, and then I will apply the top coats as well. As you can see, I put the ultra bond in the cuticle and sidewall areas to apply the top coats and the effects and decorations I will be using. Um, really quick, if you guys want to win one of these mixes, I know the video is in Spanish, but I'll put the link at the end of the video in the little squares I put as well. Um, you guys need to uh, comment on that video, share that video, tag me on the share and comment down below something about the mix. Okay, so here I'll be using uh, the Shine Up from Super Nail and the Max Top Coat um, on the glitter nails. I also use a Max Top Coat at the end of the video. Um, once I'm done doing what I'm gonna be doing on the black nails. Um, so I don't know if I recorded it or not, but I'm just letting you know in advance. Uh, I do clean the edges. I learned that from Marta Chavez, cleaning the edges after you apply gel so it doesn't lose the shape or form of the nail that we work so hard to maintain during the application. Um, so that's why I clean the edges of the nails. Also, I want to tell you the super nail that I use, I really, really love it for the chrome flake and all that kind of effects that you just rub on the nail. It is really, really good. It has really good adhesion for that type of stuff. I really, really recommend it. I bought it off a kit at Sally's that was discontinued, but it is now my favorite one. I look for it on eBay to buy it because uh, I'm running out. Um, if you guys know where I could get it on its own, just let me know. Um, it has really, really good adhesion for the effects. I really like it. I use it prior to the effect, and then I use it to top coat the effect, and then I add my regular top coat on top of that. And I really, really recommend this um, top coat for the effects. I know some of you guys have trouble finding one. This is a really, really good one. So once I cure under lamp, I get my Galaxy Hollow and the sponge. And you can see how good it sticks. I put a bunch on the bottom because I want it to kind of like fade up, ombre up, or 
you know, diminish towards the tip. And then I sweep it up slightly. And then I get my small um, dusting brush and I sweep it up. It's not really my dusting brush. I just use it for this um, effects when I do that. And there you go. I add the same top coat and then I come back and add the top max from tones. I really like adding the top max from tones because it really, really gives a really beautiful shine to the nails. And I love their clear, clear glass clear acrylic as well. So on this nail, I'm going to be trying with the beautiful and and very very talented uh, Christy Meekin from Nail Nails does on the nails where she's going to apply a lot of crystals. I'm going to test it out, see how it works for me. Um, I'm going to apply a thin coat of poly gel on my nail and then add a layer of the top coat and then start applying the crystals and I'll let you know further ahead in um, the time I have my nails if it works if the nails stick and so on and so forth I do want to apologize for the background noise. I'm editing next to my son and he's playing games. So I really do apologize. I am a mother of five and you're going to hear some kind of noise in my videos at all times. So um, now I start applying the, the max top coat and then I will start applying crystals. I don't show you every single crystal I'm putting on because my hand is pretty far away from me and I want it to go on right. So I just show you how I apply a few crystals and then I cure and show you the result. so here's the end result i hope you ladies enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed doing these nails these are the nails i really really loved the result of my nails all my mix looks how the skull looks on the nails i really really love it it's like a subtle halloween subtle yet not subtle halloween set i really really liked it I hope you guys liked it as well. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the activation bell. Um, 
set your fingers slide down to subscribe and then, then slide down to the activation bell so you guys can know about any other content as you can see i'm rubbing my finger really harshly around the crystals and nothing i did cure it for three minutes when it was under the lamps to make sure it st stuck right because it is poly gel and it takes longer to to cure um i really really liked the way these nails ended up i don't know about you guys thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for um being my sunshine and beautiful doll family i really really appreciate it i will put the link to those videos at the end the one to the sale i have for my collection and the one to the one where i'm doing the giveaways where i told you the rules prior um go ahead and comment i will be announcing the winners at uh, another video i was gonna do it on this video but i didn't have enough participants so go ahead and go check it out love you bye